first of two. You know what? I feel like I'm what? I think about that five o'clock shadow. I might not learn how to shave. Holy cow. Yeah. Must have been real warm. I wonder what I'm doing, man. Hey, how's everybody doing? <laughs> so, as everybody has very well known, we have the new releases. Have, were all released last Thursday. Yeah. Uh, Saw Renegades and the Thai Reaper. Um, so we're going to open up the Saw Sorry, Renegades. Yeah, this video, and then we'll do a different video for the Reaper. So, as everybody knows, the box, all nice and fancy, ex-normal, X-Wing box that they normally come out with. Yeah. But uh, if you notice, on the bottom right corner... They so graciously mentioned also contains second edition items. So we're going to get to see some of what the second edition stuff is going to look like for when second edition is released. Yep, now open so, it. <laughs> so we're going to open this. So this is the, I've been looking forward to this because yep. one, the X-Wing spoils move and the U-Wing and I like the new paint job. So let's let's let's, let's just pop her open. Yeah, let's just see what's going on here. Get out all the goodies. We'll open up this side first before we open up the ships. Oh, and then uh, maybe he's already grabbing stuff. This is all the second edition stuff right there. Look at all the cards. There you go. You got medium bases in there. You got medium bases. There's the 1.0 stuff. So we're just going to put this here. Is that good? There. Now let's put it up here. No, medium. No, no, no. Medium large base. All right. What so kind of, what kind of difference? Let's take a look. Hey, what do you think? Oh, wow, second hey, look at that. Is that going to save you from hitting asteroids? It might. It just <laughs> might, actually. So, we are going to check this out. The, ship, the ships are nice. Oh, yeah. There's the Ewing. Ooh, all fancy dancy. It still got its movable wings. Fancy, man. So I have things to put it in. And there's the X-Wing. Hey, a little black and white X-Wing. Oh, move the wings. Let's see it move. Oh, look at that. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Fancy! Of course, the wings um, don't really span as wide as um, the other T-65s. So when you're opening up your Saw Renegades, make sure um, you are careful with it still because the wings don't open up huge. Like if you look at your normal X-Wing, which we don't have one here, it's um, they're a lot wider. They open up a good size. But the amount that they open up is good enough. It shows you how to open and close them. So, you know, it's, it's pretty good. So kind of keep that in mind when you're opening up your package the thing that i'm really interested in is the is the medium bases um i think that's the for the u-wing i think that's a medium base for the u-wing yeah the u-wing is going to go down to medium base so i'm kind of curious exactly if which one of these fits they should both no, look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they fit. So. That is going to be on a medium base in September. No, the other way, right there. Oh, there we go. So there's the UA. I hate that when you put that. I don't like that shit on those. That just makes it so dang low all the time. Oh, whatever. 
looks cool when they fly in low. So that medium base, basically it's it's the half point way between a large and a small. So, you got so half width there. So the, the there. base, um, the medium base, I know you can't really see it overly too clear and it's kind of out of the camera actually, to be honest with you. It's not in the camera. Let me just back it up. But um, the medium base, if you kind of take a quick look at the base, there's about, oh, I'd probably say about that, oh, well, about a nail worth of uh, space difference between the medium base and the large base uh, lengthwise. Um, and widthwise, it's about the same. So it's good to see that the bases are... Ooh, look at this. I'm trying to be fancy for a second. Oh, look at it. He's moving it around. So if you actually get to try to get the closest pictures possible, which we kind of did, the bases are all together in a rough about way. I guess you can kind of do it this way. Yes. And you can see the difference between all three bases um, and how each of them differs from, from one another, which is really good. Because at least you're not going to, when you make certain maneuvers, so putting a whole different strategy um, in the game is going to be fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what what some of this um, these new bases are going to do with, with people. So what we will do first is we'll open the 1.0 edition stuff um, before we get into the 2.0 stuff. Because I am... I have problems opening up a bag. <laughs> so... Well, that is a childproof bag. Um, so, here we go. So, you've got your pilots. You got, in for the U-Wing, we have Saw Guerrera and Benthic Tutus. And on the other side is the Parisian Renegade and the and Mag, Magva Yaro. Those are your pilots that come with the Saw Renegade's box. Your dials are the normal dials that you normally have. Your pilots for the X-Wing are Colby Sperato and Edrud Tutus. So I wonder if, I wonder if Edrud, Edro is probably maybe the brother or something of the other guy. And then on the back side, it's Cabin Angels get, times two. You get three of them. So... And then you have Lee Van Ten Tenza. Yeah. Now you're probably wondering what this little thing right here is. This is the new um, card that is new submission or the new. What is it? It is the new action card called Scrambler, or sorry, Scramble. Scramble. So this is your token for the Scramble. And uh, obviously, you still get your shields and all the stuff. The dis uh, the disarm token, which when you scramble, when you scramble, it says follows. It says when attacking a ship at range one that is equipped with the targeting scrambler upgrade, you cannot modify your attack dice at the end of the combat phase. Remove this card. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, if you put you put this obviously on your opponent. So when that ship is attacking you, if it is a, if your ship has the targeting scrambler on your on your ship, they do not get to modify their dice at range one. So any modifications at range one are pretty good. So Fen Rao and his five dice hit. So if he comes in with you and he rolls five dice and he gets his uh, let's say he gets three eyeballs and two hits. Now he rolls those. He, he usually can flip them or change them. Well, if your ship has scrambled on it, you can. He can't touch it. So well, it that's from what I understand. That's kind of what it is from what this action card is. So it's yeah, pretty the, good. The little upgrade that gives you the action card targeting uh, targeting scrambler. It says at the start of the planning phase. So you do it at the start of the planning phase. 
you may receive a weapons disable token. Yeah, you disable your to disable choose a ship. to choose a ship at range one to three and assign it the scrambled condition. So you would assign it the scrambled condition when attacking a ship at range one that is equipped with the targeting scramble scrambler upgrade. You cannot modify your attack dice. At the end of the combat phase, remove this card. So, equip with the turn. So you'd want to scramble yourself, basically. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the, you put that on your opponent, and then when they attack you, they can't modify their dice. Well, because you have scrambler on your ship. I'm so attacking when, a ship. Right? Yeah. What so you have that card point? on your ship. And then when that ship is targeting you, um, or you have it on your ship, when you put the condition card on your opponent's ship, well, this is the they, can't, card. they can't modify their dice towards you. Well, okay. So you would put this on Fen Rao when Fen Rao goes to attack this guy. That's correct. So you put and that on Fen Rao, stay, Fen Rao can only modify this. And there one round. And yeah. then it goes away. Yeah. But you don't get a shoot. So, um, so is this just a defense mechanism, or yeah, it would be just a defense mechanism. I don't know how much of it would be actually be used, but for a and if it'll if he the good thing about that is if it if you're you see Fen in close to you and you've made your move, so you take your planning phase. You're like, okay, boom, I'm gonna give this to you, and knowing that he's gonna be in close to you, then that just helps. Then you're done, right? Crack so, shots, crack shot. Crack shot, yeah, that's in there. I like I like this one, Mag Magma Yero. Yeah, she's after good. after defending, you may acquire a target lock on the attacker. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty good. She's pretty cool. Yeah, and like so her. that's that's a, a pilot card. And then yeah. you have the the crack shot, which is the elite. Yeah. Um, so thrust corrector, which um has a picture of a mist hunter on the front of it. Um, has been added to this. This is a systems card. So when defending, if you have three or fewer stress tokens, you may receive one stress token to cancel all of your dice results. If you do, add one evade result to your roll. Your dice cannot be modified again during this attack. You can equip this upgrade uh, only if your hull value is four or lower. So um, the U-Wing hull is four or lower, so you can upgrade it, right? The X-Wing, which I don't think this... No, the new X-Wing does not have... No, it doesn't have an, uh, a system slot. No. So, that would go on your U-Wing. Um, the next big thing here we'll do is Renegade Refit. You get ding, three of them in one package. This takes up your... I believe that's a no, torpedo slot. That takes up your torpedo slot. And what it does, it says a TCC-5 X-Wing and U-Wing only. You may equip up to two different modification upgrades. So you get two mods on your ships. And the squad point cost of each of the equipped uh, elite upgrades is reduced by one. So it's a minus two card to your to your ship. So you put this on and the cost of your ship, so for instance... Well, look at this. Cavern's only 22 points. So you minus two, he's only 20. He's only 20. And don't, then, don't do any upgrades and you can have five X-Wings flying together. And so you have him and then if you have the elite pilot skill in your on your bar, then you can lower that by one. So if there's something that's a one, it now becomes a zero and you can just load it up onto your ship. Um, so Renegade, Renegade Refit. Do, 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 do. Those will be popular cards. My favorite. Yes, yes, Saw Gerrera. The pilot card, Saw Gerrera. Why is that your favorite? Well, first off, I like the picture because I like the acting. <laughs> but um, this is pretty much a expertise with... A mo with a downside because you have to take a damage while you do it. I'll read the card and then I'll explain. So Saw Gerrera says, when attacking, you may suffer one damage to change all of your focus results to crit results. So you take a damage, and then if you have all focuses, 
you flip them all the crits. No matter what it is, doesn't matter. So if you roll, you get hits, whatever, whatever focuses are, it's like an expertise. Flip to a crit instead of a hit. That's, that's not that's not bad. And, and his cost is only one. Yeah, but that's not really bad because it says nothing about uh, being stressed, not letting you do that. Whereas expertise, if you're stressed, you can't use it. Yeah, so, so he they, allows you so to... So you put him on a ship that can regen. Yeah. He can take a damage to make everything pretty and then just regen it back. Yeah. So yeah. I'm pretty sure he'll be popular to use. Yeah, cool. Um, and uh, the all famous uh, new Android that everybody's very popular with, the flight assistant. So there's another one of those in there in the package. And then you get the uh, pivot wing for the U wing, uh, the title card, yeah. the double sided title card. And yes, oh yes. <laughs> the servo motor S spoils cards. You get three of them. Yeah. in one package and there's open and close or attack and then close so um i will read the open or the attack uh, version it says um t65 x-wing only modification dual card so your action bar gains barrel roll if you are not stressed when you reveal a hard three maneuver you may treat it as a red talon roll or a red talon roll on each direct on each side in the same direction. Um, at the start of the activation phase, you may flip the card over, and then you flip it over, and then on the other side, it says reduce your primary weapon attack value by one. This is when they're closed, right? Your action bar gains the boost action, so you get to boost them. Treat your soft twos. Soft, uh, soft two maneuvers as green. At the start of the activation phase, you may flip this card. You may flip the card. So all of your twos on your on your dial become. I think it's yeah. So all the twos except the hard two become green. So it's easy for you to maneuver and whatnot, and you get the boost action with them with the servos. And you get three of them in the car. Uh, these are definitely going to be popular items when it comes to the new T65. Which I have in my hands. And I will say... Uh, Is that all the X-Wing ones? Or well, you no, have there's, some there's the, one, the one, yeah, the one, guys. The one I, what I like is uh, you pilot skill, the Edro two tubes, pilot skill four. And he has a cost of 24. The next one up has a cost of 25, pilot skill five. But what I like is the next one up is 26 points, but it's pilot skill 7. <laughs> so for the last one, you get a little a couple more bumps. But I like that uh, Kilby. Yeah. I like that. After you perform a boost or barrel roll action, you may flip your equipped Servo Moto S foil upgrade card. Do so you put BB 8 on them? Yeah. And that way you, you can play around with whether you want that card flipped or not. So that's kind of cool. Uh, Levin Tenza, after you perform a boost action, you may receive one stress token to receive one evade token. Yeah, it doesn't do much so far, I like number seven more. And then, uh, Edred Two Tubes, when you become the active ship during the activation phase, if you have one or more focus tokens, you may perform a free action. Hmm, that could be interesting. Somebody will find a trick with that one. That's kind of cool. What what do they have for the U wings? Because to be honest, they weren't particularly exciting for me in the well, past. Well, the the U wing, everybody, I I love the U wing, and so does Alex. Alex loves the U wing just as much as I do, and we've been waiting for this because we we're hoping that something cool happens with the U wing. So, um, the first U wing pilot is a pilot six. He's a it's Sagarer. In the Ewing, and uh, it's the title cards or the things still say 3144. Uh, when a friendly ship at range one or two attacks, if it is stressed or has at least one damage card, it may re roll one attack die. So, if any of your ships are stressed, 
or if any of your friendly ships have a damage card on them, they get to reroll an attack die with in range one to two of Sagarer. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I I think it's a pretty nifty little thing. It's kind of right. like a I guess it's kind of like a Jess Pava, but instead of just being on Jess, it's like for yeah. everybody. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Um, and and it's like. A friendly ship. So, like, if you have like three friendly ships within range of Saw Gerrera, and they all fart, it. they all get it yeah. and instead of just one. So, the uh, the PS5 pilot, which is Magma Yaro, says when another friendly ship at range one or two is defending, the attacker cannot reroll more than one attack dice. So, when another friendly ship is defending at ranges one to two, the attacker that's attacking that person. Cannot reroll more than one attack dice. Um, yeah, I, I think that's a little bit better than Sagarer, in my <laughs> opinion. Um, because um, when you're like, the reason I say that is because what's one of the worst one of the ships I hate flying against? Actually, there's more than one ship, but one of the things that drives me nuts is Fen Ra. He has to roll so, so many dice, and he has so many chances to reroll dice. What is he so? This guy says, oh, no, sorry, you can roll one. And then, and then you have, what's the one that says, yeah, what's the other one that says? Um, what you thinking? Uh-oh, I see smoke. What? Yeah. There smoke was one coming that out says of the ears. Was it this one? No, the scrambler card. Yeah, the scrambler card. So the scrambler card, so you put that on Fen, plus you're, you're flying Magno Yaro, and now <laughs> they can't modify anything. So he can't modify his dice, and if he has something that allows him to re-roll, he can only re-roll one of them. Oh, that's great! <laughs> I, I got a great idea already! Woo! I'm going to have some fun with this one. Okay. Ben Rao. Oh, yeah! Time to go die. All right. Yeah, but you can't shoot him. Uh, well, it depends. Some of the people end up playing Ben Rao differently. They'll probably end up playing him probably differently. They won't bring him in so close, but... Um, that... The level one pilots, level one pilot. The uh, level four pilot is Bennett Two Tubes. Uh, I can't pronounce the first name, sorry. It's weird. Anyways, after you perform a focus action, you may remove one of your focus tokens to assign it to a friendly ship at range one to two. So that kind of reminds me of the K Wing pilot. Um, what's the second K Wing pilot that everybody usually flies that has the two focus tokens? You mean um, there's more than one pilot for the K Wing? No, no, no. The second, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no. So, I, I don't have it right now, but um, you can use his focus tokens for other people. So, this one says he allows you to, if yes, so if you put um, the upgrade card that gives you recon specialist that says you get two um, focus tokens, you can take one of your focus tokens, spend it for yourself, and then the other one you can assign it. To one of your other uh, friendly ships at range one to two, yeah, so that's that would pretty be good. Your two tubes, yeah. Give him a focus. So I, this lots. I think there's lots of synergy here. Where yeah, you can mix around and create things. I think the whole. I think you. I think that this um, actual box set. If you were actually open, if this is one of the only boxes you bought, uh, you could probably open it up and fly like you fly like with the with Poe and Ray. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's already kind of like it's a... It's, there's already a bunch of stuff that something. meshes. You, so, need, you need another ship or two. But, but anyways, this yeah. is the... Um, we'll we'll take a shot of all this, and we'll add it to this video so you can see all the cards real nice and fancy-dancy. But we're going to package up this one because the ones I want to show you uh, is the 2.0 stuff. Uh, Ooh, I've got my fingerprints on your cardboard. Ooh. Yeah, well... Well, keep the dials up because then no, the dial, everything's changed. Oh yeah, the dials. We can see the difference. So we're gonna just move well, to the. You get a nifty piece of cardboard explaining how to build the new dials and what should be in your little two point oh pack. So your new dials. I'll let you have that one. So here is your new uh, cardboard for the bottoms of your ships. So if you can't really, I can't really see it. We'll, again, we'll take it. We'll take it. Take a nice shot of it for you to look at it. But um, the, as you can see, it is very, very blank. 
So there's like nothing on the on the bases other than the pilot skill level, the name, and then all of the other um, like there's your main firing arc with the bullseye that they've been mentioning. And then here's that fancy barrel roll stuff where you can only have a certain barrel roll actions with, with the maneuver templates. Notice a slight adjustment in the amount of maneuvers for the yep. X-Wing. Holy snot. So um, that is your templates for your cardboard for your bottom. Now we're comparing the uh, 1.0 X-Wing with the 2.0 X-Wing. T sixty five, and they've looks like they've the dial itself has been added. So this is the two point O dial, and then here's your one point O dial. So there is well, let's see what's this. So Some of the differences, yeah. I'll do yeah, why, why don't you do that one? So let's see here. They both have the the four K turn, four straight. Let's see one two. Where is the difference? Three 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 three. Talon roll. Talon rolls. They've added talon rolls. And a lot of green. And they've added a lot of blue now. It's well, blue. blue, pardon me. A lot of blue. There's a lot of blue because you get three red and you get one, two, three, four, five. You get six blue. Whereas before you had one red and you had uh, four. Four blue, but you didn't have talon rolls. Talon rolls are pretty sweet for the X Wings. That's, yeah, that's they, nice. I so like that. So I change. think, actually, if you actually kind of take a look at that dial, it probably matches. The T70. I bet you if we have a T70 dial, yeah. it's pretty much close the, to the, the T70 The U-Wing is identical. They haven't put the change. The yeah, I know. I, so, me and I was going to be a little disappointed. They didn't make any different changes to the U-Wing. But the X-Wing, I feel like the next wing But the X-Wing is much more maneuverable. Yeah, the talent rolls are huge. So, here... And lots of way to get rid of the stress once you got it, too. Here are your upgrade cards for... For the 2.0 version, so there's your your upgrade cards are as mentioned are larger than what they normally are. There's your pivot wing again, like we ha already went through. So the actions for the pivot wing are the same. Pass me the pilot cards for a sec. Um, oh, the 1.0 ones. Yeah. So the pivot wing, it's very basic. Lots of room around the. Around it, it all says before you activate, you may flip this card on one side. And then when you flip it on the other side, it says, um, while you defend, roll one fewer defense dice. Oh, they changed it. Really? Yeah. After you execute a oh, yeah, all zero maneuver, now. you may rotate your ship 90 to 180 degrees before you activate. You may flip this card. So they removed the um, one where you get to roll an extra dice. Or was it given extra evade? What's the pivot wing? Yeah, the pivot wing. Uh, the pivot wing says increase your agility value by one in 1.0, 1 where they've removed the increase your agility by one, and now all you have is the you can rotate your ship 90 or 180 degrees, and then you flip the card over. So there's your your uh, U-wing uh, title card. I like like the changes in the ships. Uh, your U-wing was a three one four four. It's now a three two five three. So three two a de two defense. Or yeah, they've given it an extra hull and they, taken away a shield. But they've also given another green die. Oh, did they give it a second? Yeah, oh, okay, so two. it's a it's a and two. For the action bar, they've added coordinate. Right, it's a red. Yeah. Whereas on the on your X wings, um, they've just given it an extra haul, so you at least get an extra haul, and the action bar gets a barrel barrel roll. That's so. That's a must for an X wing. It's and and the servos. So, um. Well, the car the pilots the, work totally different now too. The, Servo card, upgrade card that you get in here, yeah. is only one. So you're not going to be like the... <laughs> these, these. I'm hoping that in like the new kit, that the starter kit, they'll have more servos for you to use. But the servo, uh, X-Wing, you get one. <laughs> uh, 
one like one U wing, one X wing. Yeah. So, but um, well, and on the one side again, it says the same thing that it said on the pivot wing. So it just says before you activate, you may focus. I would start. assume. I would assume in the upgrade box that how, how many X wings it supports. There'll probably be servo cards for those too. Yeah. I would. I would. So, so the closed foils. Um, S foils for this says while you perform a primary attack, roll one fewer attack dice before you activate. And they flip this card. So there, if you're closed, you can't attack. You you can attack, but instead of a three attack, it's a two attack. Um, but on the card, it has a boost. It has a free a white boost, or you can focus into push the limits red boost so you can focus and if you focus you can push it the limit into the red boost to allow you to take an extra jaunter ahead which so if you want if you want so but you only get one card of each of those well, you only the, got one ship in the box for 2.0 so so uh upgrade cards let's see if any of these have changed i'll give you a few of these too so that we well i've got know. ships the ships yeah. have all changed <laughs> you got ships oh the ships have all okay, changed so well, let me go so, so Guerrero, your, your, your go favorite for it. guy yeah the old 1.1 when a friendly ship at range one or two attacks if it is stressed or has at least one damage card it may re-roll one attack die that seems decent in 2.0 when a damage friendly ship at range zero to three, which is the full range, <laughs> uh, performs an attack, it may re-roll one attack die. So it got rid of the stress, but instead of being range one to two, it's zero to three. So it improves. So it. yeah, yeah, I don't mind that because uh, the way that we play games, all of our ships are damaged. <laughs> So it'll work out. It'll work out so, better. So he's gone, he's gone from a six to a four pilot skill. But we already knew that pilot was going to end up changing. Yeah. So well, the next one is uh, Mag. I'll let you do the X wings because they're all different too. Magma, no, no, you, you can. That's okay. Magma uh, Yarrow, the one point oh. When another friendly ship at range one and two is defending, an attacker cannot reroll more than one action die. The new one. When a friendly ship at range zero to two defends, the attacker cannot reroll more than one attack die. So it's basically the same thing. So they kept it the same for her. Yeah, but she's down to a pilot skill three. I don't know that that really matters. Well, no, I, I don't like ever because it doesn't matter because there's no higher pilot skills than six. Yeah. Let's see. Benthic two tubes. Uh, version one. After you oh, that's a U in one. Yeah. yeah. After you perform a focus action, you may remove one of your focus tokens to assign it to a friendly ship at range one or two. That seems fair enough. And yet, pilot skill two, after you perform a focus action, you may transfer one of your focus tokens to a friendly ship at one or two. So that's basically, so it's really only song that they've really changed. They've tidied up the wording. Which is what they're all, they're, they say they were going to do yeah. anyways. Let's see if they've done anything big on that on the on the ships here. Well, when we lay them out, we'll lay out the new with the old, so people can see and read for themselves. Uh, let's see here. Um, let me go the, through some of these, okay, and then we'll, yep, go the and then we'll go through the next one. So I'm going to touch base on four of the upgrade cards um, that are in 2.0. So we're going to hit the uh, the two elite pilots that are coming in this case. The system upgrade and uh, proton torpedoes. So the first elite card in here is trick shot. Everybody loves trick shot. So it says, "Well, you perform an attack that is obstructed by an obstacle. Roll one additional attack dice. No change. But only that changed is it's a bigger card. <laughs> <laughs> bigger card, same abilities. Second, oh, uh, they get two of them." So you get, oh, okay, so you get two in the box. You get two in the box. Yeah. System upgrade card. Little satellite thing. Advanced sensors. After you reveal your dial, you may perform one action. If you do, skip your perform action step. 
Do we have a copy of the advanced sensors in 1.0? No. Do you know what ship that would be with? Uh, well, you know what? We'll look at it later and we'll we'll add it to it. So we'll see if there's any difference. But in here, again, you'll get one. And again, they're bigger. And so it's not too bad. Skip the perform action step. Okay, no problem. So you reveal your dial. You may perform one action. If you do, skip your perform action step. Simple. Simple. Proton torpedoes. Now, I wanted to touch base this because they're <laughs> different than what people think. Yeah. So you no longer have extra munitions anymore. You no longer have ways to like constantly get them going where you have the numerous amounts of ways to do it. They now have energy um, bars for them. So proton torpedoes has two energy bars, which allows you to fire them twice. And what I mean by twice is the card, it says, it will explode. Sorry, they're not, they're, they're charges. They're charges. Yeah, charges. So proton torpedoes attack. And then it has um, front arc. It has the picture of the front arc with the target lock. So you need to be in the front arc and you need to have a target lock for this to work. So it's not just, you know, you can just fire them. It's so they're making it very clear on the card. Front arc, target lock. So it says spend one charge. So you spend one of your two charges. You may change one hit result to a crit result. Oh, so I guess you could just hold them. Sorry, I made a mistake. So yeah, the charge, the, the charge allows that, you to to use the ability. What, what the instructions are this thing because I thought they also you deploy them at a different time. Yeah, I think that's different. My, I, I correct myself. The charge. So you use the target lock. And the focus or the arc and it says spend one charge, you may change one hit result to a crit result. So you spend a charge, uh, and you can change one of the hits to a crit with proton torpedoes. Um, but you only get two chances to use that ability. But proton torpedoes, for some reason, doesn't seem to have any way to reload. So unless the four means unless the attack dies. That's attack and that's dice. attack dice, and this range is two to three. Yeah, and it's got two energy. I mean, they may put a mechanic to reload in the future, but so um, those knows. are those four. I have more here. We'll go through. I've got another six of them, but we're gonna hit the X wings. Well, let's take a look here. Gilby Sparato. Uh It's basically the same thing, only now they use this fancy round fan looking thing for, I guess that'd be what, title? It's going to be the new symbol for title? Probably. But it's interesting because uh, on the new card it says after you perform a barrel roll or a boost action, you may flip your equipped title upgrade card. So if they come out with different title upgrade cards that you can mix them around, that'd be an interesting thing. Probably well, seeing how they see, do, that would see be how the card allows you to like the uh, servos allows you to uh, add an extra modification. So. What I find interesting too, and you'll see it in the cards when we do the close up, is on the one point one. It says after you perform a boost action, you may receive one stress token to recover one evade token. Um, in the new cards, they actually show the symbols for boost actions and boosts and evades and all that. So they don't use the words, they show the, the actual symbols. But there is a difference here. This is Lee Van Tenza. So it, it just says after you do a boost action, you may receive one stress and to receive, to receive an evade token. On the 2.0, it's after you perform a barrel roll or a boost action, you may perform one red uh, evade action so they don't say you you know <laughs> become stressed and just make it red automatically get stressed but they've at least given it so it's a barrel and those pilot skills have changed and their pilot skills you go over both pilot skills well yeah because so the, the first one was seven to four yeah this one's dropped from huge... five to three so it's two down like yeah and then uh two tubes has gone four to two and let's see here you 2.0 after you exit uh activate if you are focused, you may perform an action. So that's the, basically the same thing as when you become, it, the wording is, it's 
very clear. It's a lot clearer because in 1.1, and I don't know why they go cluttered on one when they release the same things at the same time. But anyways, 1.1, when you become the active ship during the activation phase, if you have one or more focus tokens, you may perform a free action. Whereas I, I think one, that just these go, cards here, that I think that's the reason why it took so long for this to come out. These because these were already those done. were already done yeah. and printed out, and then they said, "Well, we're just gonna ink, we're just gonna print the two point one for yeah. the new ships instead of having to put them in the conversion kits." So this because is what it is, and then they just yeah, added yeah, it to you the have four full lines to say what it says here in two lines. After you activate, if you are focused, you may perform an action. So you get a free action. So he gets two actions. Bas well, basically, I mean, you got to have some way of putting. Uh, focus on him before he activates, which is what this guy does. Well, they have the focus action. He has no, a focus no, action. No, when you activate, if you already have, if you are focused, so when you activate, oh, if you have advanced, a focus there, advanced sensors, if there's advanced sensors in this battle, which I highly doubt there is. No, I don't know. But anyways, but he has the ability to pass focus on, right? Yes. So you pass focus on to him, and then when it's his turn, he activates, he's going to get two actions. And have a focus. That's pretty good. Yeah, you know, that's not too bad. That's pretty good. So this thing is still basically a support ship for you, Wayne. Uh, yeah. It's, I, it's not going to. I didn't think. Battle. I didn't think that it was ever going to change not from a support ship. But anyways, um, so the so, two pilot skills that are in this again, there's Sagarer and Magva Yaro. So after you defend, if the attack hit, if the attack hits. You may acquire a lock on the attacker. I don't think that's any different from her other one, actually. Uh, yes, it after is. After defending, it, you may acquire a target lock on the attacker. So it doesn't say hit there. Here. That one, you have to hit. Here, they have to actually do damage to you. And then you can acquire the then target you can lock. Acquire it. That's but, pretty good. But hit just means that they roll some hits. You can still evade the hits and still get the target locked, yes, I would correct. think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. And then Sagarer uh, says while you perform an attack, you may suffer one hit damage to change all of your focus results to crit results. Same thing. Same thing. So his pilot skill hasn't or his pilot ability on his Karu card hasn't changed. So you get there's two droids that come into the new in the in this kit for 2.0. So the R3 Astromech, which I believe is new. I'm not too sure. I don't remember seeing an R3 Astromech in the old one, but I could be wrong. Um, you can maintain up to two locks. Yep. After you perform a lock action, you may acquire a lock. So obviously you perform a lock action with that droid on there. And then the droid says, oh, wait, you can acquire another target lock because I'm going to allow you to do that. So you get two target locks. So he does what um, Weapons Engineer does. Yeah. So they put the Weapons Engineer ability on pretty much a Android, which is pretty good. So, I mean, uh, you can put that on, like, you can, it's, a, it's a mech, so... Uh, it goes into like an X-wing. It can go into anything that has a thing. It's pretty good. Yeah. Instead of just lots, a crew lots card. Lots of rebels have the the max on them. So yeah. So that uh, that's pretty good. At right? least they used to. So the R four astromech states: decrease the difficulty of your speed one and two basic maneuvers. So decrease the difficulty. So I'm going to assume the difficulty means if it's a red maneuver. It goes to a white maneuver. If it's a white maneuver, it goes to a green maneuver. That would be well, what I would think would be difficult. I'm thinking difficulty if it's a two maneuver. No, it's just a one maneuver. Difficulty of your speed one and two basic maneuvers. So I'm going to I'm going to. Yeah, the difficulty is the turn. So you can. Oh. No, your one and two maneuvers are all on there. Yeah. So like all the maneuvers. So like there's the hards, the softs, and the straights. Yeah. Now I'll give it to you. I think you're right. The colors. So I think what happens is with that astromech on your your thing, it's kind of like a ten num well, I, I, upgrade card who says all your straights are green. So what it kind of does is if you have if you have white ones and that card's on your, they turn blue, 
And if they're if you have uh, red threes, they turn white. So they go down in color, the difficulty. So they're not so stressed because of that mech. Because right. I guess the mech makes you feel more comfortable. <laughs> so um, then they have the last two cards here, which is double dose, is Dead Man Switch. And they're both... They're both uh, the, the, illicits. The, the illicits in a rebel pack. So... And I don't see any... I think there is a way to... Well, well smuggler you, compartment. This is a smuggler compartment. Um, show, show me where it says what cards you can upgrade on this ship. Oh, good point. Yeah, it doesn't. So we'll have to wait for the software to come out to see... Maybe the U-Wing has uh, an illicit slot. Or can require it through the smuggling compartment. Because remember the Falcon in 1.0 has the smuggling compartment card, which gives it the illicit. But, which, it's, if but it's, it's linked only to that ship. Maybe they've changed that card. Um, maybe, but I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to do a guess. I'm going to take a guess that because the U-Wing is actually a smuggling... A smuggler's ship? No, it's not. It's a, a troop well, carrier. Well, it's kind of, but still carries things, right? <laughs> <laughs> smuggling. That's Cargo really, ship. It carries military troops. Give me a break, I, man. I think, I think what we'll see is when we get the app, it'll be one of the one of the things you can choose. So, um, but Dead Man Switch says follows. If you are destroyed before you are removed, each other ship at range 0 to 1 suffers 1 damage. Which one hit damage? So that is not any different prob from the no. other one. So there's your um, 2.0 and your 1.0 difference between in the Saw Renegades kit. You get a lot in the box. There's quite a bit in here. Like is yeah. Like it. I'm not We're, with my iPhone. Afterwards, we'll do amateur video, but we'll have it all laid out so you can so, see it piece by piece. We'll, there's we'll, a lot in this box. Yeah, there's quite a bit. And what we'll do is we'll end up and we'll put it together. So we'll put the two, two different pilot like yeah. cardboards for the bottoms of the ships together, so you can see the difference. Uh, so this video will be a little bit longer. Than it already is, which is forty-seven minutes. <laughs> and um, but and, it'll and have... you wanted to do both box openings in one video. No, I didn't. Yeah. Actually, that's not what I wanted to do. I got that. That's not what I was trying to do. What yeah. I was trying to do was trying to do like three of them, where we're going to say we're going to do this and have our normal little chit chat thing, and then we're going to do separate yeah, ones. Let's just open the box and but see the goods. He wanted to see the goods. So um, I'm looking forward to two point I'm looking forward to seeing what these new ships can do. I'm really looking forward to playing with the. New style U wing yeah. and I the think, abilities I think that they have. Give the rebel guys, the boost. I probably won't buy these because I'm not going to be a rebels player. But, but I, I think the the rebel players that do, they've got some good stuff here to work with. It's it's it's. I think it's going to be good, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm s still against the whole uh, Millennium Falcon being part of the uh, rebels. But anyways, I I agree. Anyways, they have to be a part of it, but still. Yeah. Um, anyways, um, this is uh, Curtis, my name, Curtis. Jared Evans, how are you doing? Or Cherry. Shut up. <laughs> hey, I forgot about that. Nope, I know. Uh, have yourself a fantastic evening. Yeah. Enjoy this 2.1 Rebel video. And after we say our goodbyes, we'll put on the little video. Yeah, when we load it up and have it all on Definitely take a look at it. Take the time to have some fun. Yeah. Really scour through the cards. If, if you're a Rebel player, then you definitely need to get grab, Saw Renegades. Yeah, grab one of these ahead of time just for the hell of it. I you know what? I would definitely, I would definitely get a Saw Renegades kit. Yeah. It's got a lot of really, really good, good stuff in it, even for the 1.0 stuff, which is only for the next two or three months. And then uh, jumping into 2.0 with it. Um. It's really good. And the dials, we'll even put the dials together so you can see the difference between the two, what the two dials look like. So, um, <laughs> the dials are pretty cool. I like the way they, um, it's set up so that you can look at it. It's really good. So, um, anyways, anyways thank you. Let's cap this one off. We'll get yep. the video together. And, if, again, email us, Crimson Core, yeah. or Crimson, CTG, yeah. at gmail.com. Gmail .com. And our Facebook page is Crimson Core Tabletop Gaming. Don't be afraid to drop by and say hi. Yeah. Got any local events or anything going on? 
use this as a poster board. Yep. Put it on the put it on Slap the it up there and we'll get it on. It's all great. And join the pages for free too. So just load it up. Okay. Yeah. So, anyways. See you. Good, Good night.